Hello, my name is Lance McCarthy. I'm a manager and technical support at Progress Software. I'm also a Microsoft MVP in Windows Platform Development. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your Azure DevOps pipeline to use our Telerik NuGet feed. Let's get started. Once you're in the project settings, come up and select new service connection. You can filter by NuGet or just scroll down. Click next. We want to select basic authentication. For the feeds URL, this needs to be exact. Make sure there are no trailing slashes after NuGet. Use your Telerik account's credentials for this. This is the same account that you would open support tickets and download the products with. You'll want to give the service connection a meaningful name. A good example would be Telerik Feed. You can also put a description if you'd like. Now click Save. With this inside your service connection, you now use it for the pipelines. To use the service connection in a .NET Core classic build pipeline, go to the pipeline, select the restore task, select feeds in my NuGet config, make sure the path to the NuGet config is accurate, and then you will find the extra Telerik feed service connection available as an option to authenticate the feeds inside of the NuGet config. To use the service connection in a classic pipeline, go to the pipeline and find your NuGet restore task. Select feeds in my NuGet config. Make sure the NuGet config's path is set there. You will now see the service connection available as an option for the credentials to restore any of the feeds that are defined in the NuGet config. Now when you run the build, it will also restore the packages from the Telerik NuGet server as well as NuGet.org. In this example, I will show you how to add a .NET Core NuGet restore step that uses the Telerik NuGet server to restore the packages. As you can see in front of us, we have the YAML editor. You can do this in any code editor. The advantage to doing it in Azure DevOps is it gives you these little tasks helpers. Over here on the right, if you select or filter a particular task helper, it'll give you some things you can choose from. So we're going to choose .NET Core. For the command, we're going to use restore. We want to use the path to the project, which I happen to have over here. So we're just going to use the variable instead of the hard-coded path. Next, we need to select feeds in my NuGet config. We also need the path to where the NuGet config is. You could use the raw value, the string to the path, or you can use a variable. I recommend the variable. Finally, we need to set the credentials to be able to authenticate any private feeds we might have in this NuGet config. Coincidentally, we do have a NuGet Telerik server as one of the feeds. We previously added the service connection that contains the credentials to the Telerik server. So all we need to do is just select it and we're good to go. Make sure the cursor is where you want the task to be added, then click add. That's it, you're done. You can save it and build it and it will restore the Telerik NuGet packages that you have referenced in your project. 